Hello Facebook, YouTube, the day of Raphael, the Archangel, God is our healer. No, not tear. Stop acknowledging false gods and goddesses because they're not supposed to be. They didn't create no days. They didn't create any days. God created days and gave his archangels charge of it. That's what I'm trying to tell everybody, but... That's not a message, but wow, what a revelation that God has revealed to me last night. Oh my God. Um, topic of the message is today is October 27. Now, tw I'm discovered the 27, the, the topic of this message is learning the 27 and 28 uh, number. Uh, it's an intricate number. Oh, no. Not really. It, now, God gave me a revelation. Well, uh, it's a revelation that God told me about the multiply and addition. God, the kingdom of God is about multiply and addition. Now, wow. He gave me that revelation one time in my post. I posted one time. that. But first, it's about multiply. But then, it's about uh, uh, addition and God just gave me another work, showed me another thing that I'm supposed to show you that uh, I, I didn't get to do it, but I'm gonna show you later. But I gotta show you this. Um, I, I just want you to uh, pause it if you can in this video and check this out. Just you know, this right here. I hope I got the you can see it. Uh, uh, what it is now? Cause I don't got I don't got my other you know now when I'm working from my other side of my camera I gotta hold the camera up and I can't teach it thoroughly to you uh, the way I need to. But number the but twenty seven the number twenty seven means divine birth. That's what 27 means, the by birth. And as you see in that paper, 28 means perfect foundation. Now, what 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 why how did you get this? Well, God, you know, told me last night I'm meditating. Said, "Mac, um you know, times, you know, uh of course, do the times of 33 and 9." Oh yeah. Oh yeah, thank you God. I'm sorry God. Now, I did a message uh, on the 20, I forgot the 26, uh, September 26, about the 266 days, the 266. I researched that, and that supposed to means the birth to, I mean, to conception to birth. Now, God told, told me, he just told me straight out that two, 266 days is actually nine months you know nine months and now he sent me to uh now in the young kapoor uh, uh you know they had the day they did something concerning jonah jonah you know they quoted something jonah and then when i saw the jonah i said like, oh jonah the mystery of jonah you know so i go to the mystery of jonah in matthews 12 and 40 uh, 4 or 45 something we're in that area um it talks about the uh that the it shall be an evil and diverse generation you know he's talking to the scribes and pharisees you know uh seek it after a sign but it shall be a sign of jonah you know jonas it says sign of jonas and he was underneath the well for three days ha <laughs> ha three plus three times nine equals 27. Okay. 3 times 9 equals 37. Oh, sorry. 3 times 9 equals 27. I'm too excited. Um, so, God showed me about the divine birth. Now, and he told me to research something. That uh, 27 is the only number... Uh, that you can times uh, times a seven. You 
I mean, well, it's no, it's not the only number. Sorry about that. It's uh, you can time seven, seven, and you get you know, uh, a seven, seven, and you can times uh, seventy, uh, um, seven and eight. I mean, you can times seventy, and you get um, if you look in the bottom, you will get uh, 78 uh, is, let me see, sorry, 2 times 39 equals uh, 78, and 11 times 7 equals 77. You can get it in that sequence, but what I want to show you in that sequence that, uh, now you notice it says, and when you add 77 and 78 together you get 14 and 15 now hmm why did God put the blood moons on the 14 in the 14 2014 and 2015 <laughs> oh look at that now watch this sequence now now the blood moon let's go back to the blood moon that's what it's all about going back to the blood moon the blood moon Actually, the blood moon actually began September 27. Yeah, and then it went to the 28th. Now, why is this sequence is important? Because it's showing a sequence that uh, a divine sequence that God has this order in His divine plan that He is going to implement in these numbers. Now, um, uh, the thing is, 27, 28, when you add them together, you see you get 9 and 10. Now, I told you 9 is the number of birth. Now, 10, well, I hope you all know about 10. 10 is the, God taught me a number of fulfillment. Like 10 commandments uh, that he gave his, the Jewish people. Now, there was 10 days in the upper room. You know what I'm saying? Ten days in the upper room, and then bam, the speaking in tongues. Ten is, of course, covenant. Two is covenant. Becoming in covenant, as you can see, that they ten commandments, they get in a covenant with God. And the covenant of the Holy Ghost that, you know, in those ten days, the fulfilling of the Holy Ghost that established the church in the day of Pentecost, uh, established the relationship between the Gentiles and this and the Ten Commandments established a relationship with the Jews. Now that is key significance, and it all like I said, and it also means fulfillment. Now you know that in the Jewish uh, calendar that they prayed in ten days for repentance. If you do your research, it's ten days in, at Yom Kippur. Yeah, at Yom Kippur, in those ten days, they pray for repentance, and then what happens? Sukkot comes. See, and right, but in those 10 days is right when Sukkot begins. And that's when the blood moon was there at the 27th. Look at this order. Wow, this order is unbelievable that God has established here. You know what I'm saying? Concerning numbers. And now here's what I found out about nine. The power of the nine, as you can see. I hope y'all can see it. I can't see it. But 9 is the only number that you can multiply all its all the um his numbers with all the sequent numbers of the you know of the of all the numbers and add them together and you will get 9. Wow! That's the power of the ninth concerning birth. Of the divine birth that God is, you know, God is all about birth. And he's trying to birth his son inside of us. You know, I was talking about yesterday, I mean, uh, a message yesterday about, you know, that, uh, that you know, becoming a baby. We be born again spirit. You get the born again spirit and then you get a babe and then all of a sudden it grows into a spirit man. God is all about bringing birth within his process concerning his divine plan as we should understand concerning his ways and now I want you to look at this that I just discovered when I put it together 
of down below the 2 times 39. If you see the 39, 3, 9, bam, back to 27. We're back to 27. You know what I'm saying? God showed me that. And wow, amazing process of his numbers. God created the numbers and he created his numbers based upon his divine plan. That Judaism know that. They know about the numbers and the meaning and how to add you know, the two together and stuff like that. And wow, it's just amazing on um, sequence that God has established concerning 27 and 28. So I hope you got it that 27 is means divine birth. And um, 24, I mean, sorry, 28 means perfect foundation. But I'm going to teach on uh, 28 next. I'm on the 28th, you know what I'm saying? So I hope you excited. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm just presenting what God has gave me last night concerning these numbers. But check them out and see for yourself about this pattern. Now, now understand the pattern has to have 7 and 8. It's 7 and 8, 7, 8, 7, 8. You know what I'm saying? Pattern that you can go through all the numbers and only 29 is the only number that you can times. Like 3 times 9 is 29. I mean, 3 times 9 is 27. Forgive me, y'all. Um, that is the only number you can times. And, and then, or sorry, and then you can times 77, sorry. 77, 78. And that's what I resorted to doing that. And it came out with 2 times uh, 39 to get back to. 3, 9 to 27. All right. I hope y'all got to understand the pattern. Look, research the pattern for yourself and understand what God's divine pattern that he's established, you know, because he's God. All right. That's the message. God be glory. Him forever and ever. In Jesus' name. Amen.